<laughs> Hi y'all. This is Armenthia with Gun Gals. And um this month I know Gun Gals is talking about diet, exercise, um, body image, and one of the things that we've been talking about is how your body, your shape, your size affects how you carry. Okay? So my last video had to do with me carrying a holster on my hip with my 38 revolver, right? Okay, so I always talk about my Femme Fatale holster, right? Because I absolutely love it. One of the things about me is typically I'm a jeans and t-shirt type person. I have um, blue jean shorts today. This is just a t-shirt that I've got on, okay? And the cool thing about it is that I can conceal my Femme Fatale holster underneath me. It runs right across here, right underneath my bra, um, in my on my upper abdomen, okay? My upper, my upper side, okay? Because I do have hips, and I have a waist. Not everybody gets to see it, but I have one. Um, so carrying on my hips is not ideal for me. So what I did want to show you is my Femme Fatale. So um, I know. People talk about, well, do you practice drawing from it? Yes. Am I completely smooth with drawing from it? No. But do I practice? Yes. So it's really simple. All you have to do, I take, because I'm right-handed, I just take my left hand, grab the bottom of my shirt, I pull up, you can see, I go in with my right hand, and I draw with my right. And that's how I pull. Okay. Um, again, if I were in a hurry, you know, and because my gun is a little bit bigger, um, you can see my pocket. My gun fits very snug. Like I said, it fits under my under my bra. I have a shirt on underneath. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can see. I mean, well, yes, it kind of. It kind of rounds out my belly a little bit, but once I put my shirt on, and because I do have an upper chest, it conceals it, and you're not going to be able to tell that I've got my concealed carry piece on, okay? I'm actually going to put on a couple of different shirts for you and kind of show you that. Again, for me to draw, left hand grabs the bottom of my shirt, pull up, go in with my right, and I pull. And simple as that. Okay. Okay. Mm. All my shirts fit just a little bit differently. Um, but again, I'm covered. You can't tell. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna go right here and we'll pull. It is very insulated, very padded. You cannot feel or get to um, little fingers for sure. Cannot get to the trigger or any part of it. So it's totally safe, and yes, I use it and wear it when I have my grandbabies, so yes. Again, some of my shirts, some of my shirts fit a little looser, some of them fit a little tighter. This one fits a little bit tighter than my others. You still, you can't tell. I'm still covered. I still have it on. Everything is great. I'm still concealed carry. All is good. Alright, because it is Texas, okay? Let's be honest. It's a little warm here. <laughs> this is a thinner workout type shirt. Um, totally pulling it off. Can't tell. Again, I mean, I have a large upper chest, so it covers what I've got. I'm still, I'm still carrying. Alright, so I'm back to my original outfit. Um, I've just got on a t-shirt. I've got on my blue jean shorts. 
Again, I still have my concealed carry, my femme fatale corset holster underneath. Um, my daughter is coming home. She has already asked if I would go clothing shopping with her. She's got a job interview coming up. And so this is what I'll be wearing today. Here in Texas, yes, I'm going to conceal carry today. Um, so this is a typical outfit for me when I conceal carry. I'm a blue jeans and t-shirt, very laid back person. So it works. I hope you enjoyed my video. I enjoyed sharing with you some of the reasons why this works for me. Um, again, we're all different and what works for me may not work for you, but we all advocate, find what works for you, okay? All right, hope to see you next time. Be sure and like, thumbs up, and subscribe. All right, talk to you later, bye.